the net present value of growth opportunities model. Growth stocks sell for prices that are large relative to their current earnings. Such stocks pay little or no dividends. In industries characterized by innovation and change, such as high-tech and pharmaceutical industries, the stock of young firms with little or even negative earnings may sell for a healthy price. Financial markets are forward-looking, and investors buy growth stocks for the potential future growth in earnings. They're looking at growth opportunities, and the stock price reflects their assessment of the net present value of these future growth opportunities. So the value of a stock arguably has two component parts, the value of the firm's existing assets and the value of the firm's future growth opportunities. This is an alternative way of conceptualizing the value of stock. We'll formalize this conceptualization with a model derived from the dividend discount model called the net present value of growth opportunities model. Suppose a firm's existing assets in place are expected to produce a level stream of earnings over time and the firm is a cash cow it pays out all of its earnings as dividends. We can value this firm's stock with the no growth case of the dividend discount model, where the stock price is equal to the level dividend divided by the opportunity cost of capital. As all earnings are paid out as dividends, we could also write this as the fixed earnings per share divided by the cost of capital. The price of the firm's stock is the present value of a stream of earnings per share generated by the firm's assets in place. Now the firm has a valuable investment opportunity. It will retain its entire dividend at time one and invest it in the opportunity. The investment generates an additional cash flow of P dollars per year in perpetuity. The cost of the investment at time one is the earnings per share at time one. So we invest the earnings per share at time one in the growth opportunity at time one. The value of the project at time one is the present value at time one of the project's cash flow stream and is discounted back one year to get its contribution to the current price of the firm's stock. Net present value is present value minus cost. Let's solve the net present value equation for the project's present value. And we get that present value is equal to cost plus net present value. Let's substitute this expression for present value for the time one present value of the project. The earnings per share time one is the cost of the project to which we add the net present value of the project at time one. Rearrange the equation to separate the present value of the cost of the project and the net present value of the project. We can put the present value of the earnings per share at time one back with the firm's stream of earnings per share. And we now have our net present value growth opportunity model we have the value of our assets in place and the time zero value of the project's net present value is the net present value of the growth opportunity. So the present value of growth opportunity model says the price of a common stock has two component parts, the value of the firm's assets in place and the value of the firm's growth opportunities. Let's look at an example problem. Stuart Living Incorporated expects to earn $20 million per year in perpetuity if no investments are made. However, the firm will invest $2 million next year in a project that will generate additional earnings of $36,000 in every subsequent year. Stuart Living has 10 million shares outstanding. The firm's cost of capital is 10%. What is the value of its stock on a per share basis if it undertakes a project? 
first let's value the assets in place on a per share basis. We value the assets in place as a cash cow and calculate the present value of the earnings per share of the assets in place. Assets in place generates a cash flow of $20 million per year. With 10 million shares outstanding, that's $20 per share. We divide that by 10% and the value of the assets in place is $20 per share. Now we find the net present value of the project at year one. The present value of the project at year one is its level $36,000 per year divided by the 10% cost of capital. We're assuming that the project has the same risk as a firm, so the 10% cost of capital is appropriate for the project. The year one value of the project is $3.6 million. We subtract the $2 million cost from the $3.6 million present value and get a net present value at time one of $1.6 million. We discount the net present value back one year at 10% to get its time zero value. And this is the net present value of the growth opportunity. And the net present value of the growth opportunity is $1,454,545. We divide it by 10 million shares to get its per share value, 14 cents per share. We have the value of our assets in place per share, $20. The per share value of the growth opportunity, 14 cents. So the value of the stock, if it undertakes a project, is $20.14.